I was brought up just outside a small fishing village in southwest Alaska. It was an idyllic place to grow up, rural, beautiful, and majestic, with vast wilderness on our doorstep. However, I was keen to discover the urban modern world and moved to Barcelona in 1990, where I lived and worked for 15 years. I went through the transition from adolescent to adult in those years, and always say that I finished growing up in Barcelona. However, I firmly believe that my core personality was formed and shaped in those early years in Alaska. My partner, who is from Barcelona, and I decided to move to Devices in 2006, and our daughter, who was conceived in Spain, was born in the local hospital just before Christmas. We had debated long and hard where to raise our daughter, knowing full well that wherever we chose would play a major part in shaping the person that she would become. We chose Devices as I have family here. Although Devices has very little in common with my village in Alaska, it is rural and a long way from the urban beat of Barcelona. Here she could grow up surrounded with easy access to nature, a slower pace of life, and hopefully a real appreciation for the natural aspects of planet Earth. Choosing to raise our daughter in Devices instead of Barcelona meant choosing which language would be her first language, what would be her lifelong perception of where she was from, and in many aspects, how her personality would be shaped. Now she speaks English with a British accent, sometimes quite broad Wiltshire. She has her own back garden to play in instead of having to get into a lift in a high-rise flat to access the ground floor to go to the park. She started school at five years old instead of three years old and she is surrounded by countryside. People inevitably ask Noah's father and I where we are from, our accents not being local. We replied Barcelona and Alaska. But even when she was very young, Noah would always pipe up and say, but I'm from Devices. Noah has family all over the world and has been to visit them in Spain, Australia, and America. And although she loves traveling, she is always happy to return home. We may not live in Devices forever, but I know in Noah's heart and mind, she will always be from Devices.